Okay. Okay, we'll move on to resolution 1036. That must be Bill. That's Bill. That's Bill. Well, Bill, come on up. Okay. Bill's going to read this to us. Oh. This is not as bad as that other one. No. But I still read that. that. Darn thing. <laughs> it wasn't because I wanted to. Nope. <laughs> I figured my congressman would know that's where it is. That's all we're after. Hmm. Yeah. Right there. Pouring in there. Right here. Yeah. You're at the center of attention right here. Sit down at the big table. That's right. Another. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I'm getting, yeah. <laughs> he, he read it. Two last weekend. He read it all. Oh, I read the whole thing. I have no idea what it's saying. I, I, I <laughs> glanced through it. I still don't know. Why did you tell it? Oh, I don't know why I can tell it, but it's just... Pretty much the same thing as the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the prices more. Right? Um, that's good. In, in the year 2000, in, it was the same guy I worked with, David Newberry, except it was two catalogs thick of contracts. I remember you here during that time, Jerry, 2000? I remember. Two contracts mm -hmm. and two books that... Yeah, I remember that one. Those two are going away because of my soul. And then I did ask MEC, David Newberry, I said, is Lakeview the only customer that Good American sells power to as a wholesale customer? He said, yes. Really? Oh. Realized when I said wholesale, like mm -hmm. Sac City and Carroll and Norwood, okay. they're retail mm -hmm. customers. So Right. Which I think is a plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, at the end of the year, when our Mid American contract expires, those contracts go away in this uh, wholesale distribution, and they come up with new names all the time. They call this one a wholesale distribution agreement. Goes into effect. We will be the fourth town that this applies to. Fonda, Wale, Rita, I think, you know, as their contracts come due, then this, this new contract goes into effect. <coughs> Previously, in 2000, the previous contracts just covered our WAPA allotment. Our supplementic power was covered under a sep our separate contract that's going to expire in 2010. Right now, the transmission comes in, they call it the SAC sub, but it's up by Shaler. Comes in at 161,000 volts. The, the substation, which is part of this agreement, <coughs> that's that, uh, the, uh, it's on, page number is on, there's 10 The third one from the end, you get close to, it's right there. 10, your guys' page number 10. That substation feeds multiple towns and RECs. So our monthly rent will be our share. It's, it's based on your your uh, load. It's five hundred thirty-two dollars and fifty cents a month. And then after they get it out of the substation, it comes down to Oldie Bolt and Oak Lake View. That will be your top line, the fifteen thirty-one eleven, and they call that their distribution line, which is sixty-nine thousand volts. And that's these contracts just mirror the, the two thousand agreement. Except for now, our total power is under this agreement from America. To be before, the Waffle was under a separate one and MEC was under a separate one. That gets back to our seven page contract turned turn into 7,000 pages. That's just the way life has become. That's when we have one contract, right? For this year, right. exactly right. Yeah. I told um, 